A very good morning to everyone. I am Dr. Gopal Ghosh, a practicing cardiologist in Kolkata and also in Barampur in the state of West Bengal. So today we will discuss about the salt and hypertension. I know in this COVID era, it is very difficult to keep yourself on and ourselves fit because we are not able to go out from home. So, it is very essential to keep your blood pressure under control for hypertensive patient and to keep your blood sugar level under control for diabetic patients. So, salt is a very essential uh, ingredient of our daily meal. So, as an average Indian, we daily eat almost 5 to 6 gram of sodium per day. So, this excess amount of sodium intake is not a good thing. It can cause hypertension and you know one in every five Indian are having hypertension and hypertension is a very uh, notorious underlying cause which can lead to stroke, which can lead to heart failure, which can lead to heart attack. So, you have to be very careful in your daily salt intake. So, there is there are two things one is salt one is sodium. Okay. So, salt is an important ingredient of our daily eating habits and sodium is a nutrient which is mainly present in salt also sodium is available in some food additives. Too much of sodium intake will ultimately leads to hypertension. So, if you can cut down your daily sodium intake, you can keep your blood pressure under control and not only that, it also helps to uh, helps the antihypertensive drugs to act better. So, how much of salt or sodium do you need each day? Our Indians daily ate almost 5 to 6 gram of sodium per day that is present in our daily meal. But as a as for an hypertensive patient, it is recommended by the Western means USA, USA or European guidelines to keep the daily sodium intake under 2.4 gram or 2400 milligram per day and patient those who are uh, taking multiple antihypertensive for them I can tell them to take less than 1.5 gram of sodium per day. So, a healthy low sodium diet should contain lots of fruits and vegetables, a low fat milk, then whole grains, legumes, nuts and obviously lean meat and fish. So, what are the sources of sodium or salt in our daily to day, day to day life? So, the sodium or salt has mainly three kind of source. The main source is that the salt which we are adding during cooking that is the main source. Besides that, there are two other sources. One important source is that our packaged food that we are buying from outside and consuming, also our restaurant meals and takeout meals. And uh, this kind of salt are mainly present in breads, mainly present in bakery items, mainly present in, in sweets. Although these items are not salty in taste, but they have a very high content of sodium. That is the second uh, uh, item from where the salt or sodium comes from. And the third thing is that our uh, daily uh, meal like our unprocessed food also contains minimum amount of salt. So now the thing is that what to do, how you can control or restrict your sodium intake. 
so best thing you can do is eat natural unprocessed and homemade food more often that on then only you can control your blood pressure so this control you can do in different levels because you are buying the grocery items from outside you are eating at home and you are preparing food at home and also sometimes you are going to restaurant so you can do different things in different level so that you can restrict your salt intake like in your grocery when you are going to buy your grocery items you buy fresh and unprocessed food more often choose breads choose baked item snack foods or sauces soups with minimum sodium content so always check the nutrition fact level you can check the nutrition fact level on the back side of each item and always buy the product which are having very low sodium content i'll suggest uh, product which are having less than 120 mg of sodium per servings are best to buy then when you are preparing food at home what you can do prepare and eat more unprocessed and homemade foods avoid adding salt unnecessarily and i'll suggest very minimum so in spite of using salt every time you can do you can add lemon juice you can add some lime herbs spices to add flavor without sodium use minimum amount of ketchup mustard soy sauce pickles olive and prepared gravies and sauces because these items are very high in sodium content and also they have multiple drawbacks so don't use prepared items remove salt shaker from your dinner table so that minimum amount of salt you can use and you can use diluted tomato paste in spite of using tomato sauce in recipe there are multiple kinds of salts which are available like sea salt okay then some adulterated salt like some flavored salt many people will tell that 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 kind of salts are better but no all kind of salts are having very high sodium content then when eating at the restaurant or take out meal so you choose dishes made from fresh low sodium ingredients you always ask the uh, person there to uh, use minimum salt in your food and you ask for gravy sauces or salad dressings on the side and tell them not to use your main meal and you can always check the nutrition information from the restaurant person before uh, giving orders so this kind of uh, points you can just remember and you can limit your salt intake because this excessive salt not only increases the risk of having disease like stroke heart failure or heart attack or chronic kidney disease but also if you can limit your salt intake you can prevent developing hypertension and for those who are already hypertensive for them the anti hypertensive medication will act better if you restrict your salt intake this salt after eating the salt they have to undergo a process inside your body and your kidney and heart will play an interplay role to remove it from your body so if you are eating too much salt that will ultimately give an ex- extreme pressure to your body so i will suggest always try to keep your salt intake very at very minimum level and be healthy so in this so i'll try to finish this talk by telling you that uh, in this covid era 
you have to be very healthy because you know this covid 19 cause more damage to the people who are hypertensive who are diabetic who are having heart disease so you have to be safe so how do you can be safe you have to keep your blood pressure under control you have to keep your sugar levels under control you have to try to walk or if possible do some gym if available at all and keep your body very healthy so i hope this video has helped you people to keep your salt intake at minimum in future and thank you thank you for watching me